know, I thank the Lord. I, just, I want to share this with you. You know, sometimes people lament their troubles. They lament their sickness. They lament... I'm so grateful. This may not sound right, but those of you who understand will understand. I'm so grateful for the periodic times when I'm not well, which seems like there have been more of those over the last few years than I'd care to share. But I'm grateful because it seems like God has a fresh way when I either have sickness or trouble to make me cling tighter to his word, and I can stand up here and say I'm grateful that I serve a God who knows when I'm weak and helps me in my weakness, whether it's in my sickness or weakness just as my walk. I'm grateful that he gives me the opportunity to come and stand before you and not only share his word, but share his love for you as well, because what I've just described is what every single believer in the body of Christ should experience. Not, you know, people like to tell you if something bad happens, it's because the hand of God has been removed from you. Or rather, I say rejoice, just like the Bible. Rejoice in tribulation. That is, the real word is boast in tribulation. Not, you know, hey, I got new troubles. <laughs> but thank God for them, because I know how much he loves me. He has a way of showing me that love in those moments, and that's what I'm grateful for. I'm also grateful for you. I shouldn't tell you that, because when I tell you those things, you get all happy inside, and then your heads get so big. <laughs> I wish, if your head does that, I hope it's like a balloon and it explodes. <laughs> and I'm not gonna repent for that. But my love for you, sometimes being away and traveling, makes me realize each time I come back home the gift that God has given me, not just in my love for the Word, but the special love that He's shown me to give me the honor and privilege of picking up at a place where it seemed absolutely impossible, improbable, unlikely. I could keep going in the adjectives and descriptives. And not only did God enable me and make a way, but for the ones who are here in front of me listening, he gave you the heart and the mind to understand God is not dead. God is still in control and very much cares for his church. So when I look at you, it's not that I need an extra one, but it's a reminder of how great God is and how much he loves this church called Faith Center. Good morning to you, congregation. Good morning.